Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with my 10th update of my project polish. So before we start I'm just gonna let you know that I this pro this month don't have that much progress and that is because I've been super duper busy as I mentioned in a few of my videos and I really haven't had time to paint my nails that much but I do have progress on most of the polishes although it is quite little but I will just jump into the polishes and show you the progress I do have. So the first one in my nail swatch wheel is this one right here and this one is the only one I haven't used. I am at the same point as last time because I haven't used this one at all. Not even a single manicure and um, I don't know why I kind of went off this color but um, I will think I will try to work on this for next month um, before we get into Christmas because then I know that I will probably want to focus more on the redder shades. Uh, so yeah, this one I will try to focus on and get some progress on it because I don't think I've had any progress on it for the last two months. Or maybe I did have that one from last month. Either way, I haven't used this once over the last month so I definitely want to use it more for next updates. The next one on my swatch wheel is this nude shade right here and that one is from H&M and it is one of their nail polishes in the shade Lattic To Go. I adore this shade, this is the nicest nude ever, I love it. Um, I ha did switch this out for a different one, I used a different nude that I really loved as well but that was discontinued and I don't think they make this one anymore either but I know that I um, have spotted a few kind of dupes for this in stores or like similar shades so I'm not too worried about using this up but I have been loving wearing this and I'm gonna show you my progress. So you can see my progress lines are right there. Like I said not too much but I did actually use this I think two different manicures or even three. No I didn't use it for two manicures so that is kind of the progress for two manicures which is kind of weird because I feel like between these two I used it kind of the same amount. I don't know um, maybe the bolo is just kind of really shapen, I don't know, but that is my progress and it is decent, but hopefully I will make more progress on this for next month as well. Then the next shade I have is this mini one right here, and this one is from a brand called Viva La Diva, which is a Swedish brand. It is quite affordable and cheap, and um, I got this as a gift from one of my friends, uh, and I will show you my progress on this one. You can see again that is my progress lines. I used to use this a tiny tiny bit. Uh, this one isn't the most uh, like fall appropriate shade which is why I haven't used this that much. It was all the way at the top when I put it in and I used it quite a bit the first update but now it's going quite slow. I only think I used this once uh, for the last update which is why the um, progress is quite minimal although this is a mini bottle. I I'm still hoping to finish this before the end of the year. And I think I'll probably be able to do that since this is a mini bottle. And I do have two more months before the finale. The next shade is this one right here. And this one is one that I love. I really, really love this shade. And it's one of the Yelly High Shine Nail Paints by Berry M. And it's in the shade Pomegranate. So this one is one that I've been loving reaching for. It is right there on the swatch wheel. So it is kind of like a... I would say like a raspberry red, so it's not quite red, but it's the most red one that I have in this project. And I really really loving wearing this because it is a really nice fall shade and I think it's really classic on the nails. So this one is also the brighter shade in my kind of rotation right now, which is why I've been loving reaching for this one as well, when I don't want to go for a nude or a really dark shade. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to show you the progress I do have on this polish. So as you can see, that is my progress. Um, I do have some progress, but it's not that much. Uh, I definitely used more before, but I think I used this about three times, um, so you can see how little progress you get for three manicures. I have used this on my toes once, I think, on my, and on my nails twice. Uh, but yeah, uh, I would say that I'm pretty much exactly halfway through the bottle. Uh, I don't think I will be able to use this up before the end of the year though. Uh, that would be a bit of a stretch. But uh, I am enjoying wearing this still and I definitely feel like I will be able to use this up in the beginning of next year. And then for the final shade, which is the one that I'm currently wearing, which is this really really dark purple shade by a brand called Framar. From last video I uh, saw a few of you guys commenting on where you can find these. Uh, from what I understand this is from an affordable brand that is available throughout Europe. But yeah, I've been loving wearing this one as well. It's the one that I have on my fingers as well on my toes right now. So I will show you the progress I do have. 
So you can see the progress lines right there. I would say that they are pretty consistent, but since the bottle is going down, I definitely feel like I used this more this time than last update, which is really, really good. Again, I don't think I will be able to use this up before the um, end of the project. I think this one would definitely be another one that I will keep on for next year. But I am loving wearing this and um, it is really, really nice. I think this looks beautiful on the nails. So yeah, I'm just gonna continue working on it and see how far I can get with this before the end of this project. But that guys concludes this update. I know I don't have any empties this month as well. Um, my goal was to finish off a full wheel before the end of the year, but I do have two of them kind of missing, so I don't think I will be able to finish all of them. My goal, I would say, is definitely to finish these three. Um, and like I said, I think it's a stretch to kind of go for these ones as well. But yeah, I definitely feel like I will be able to use these three up um, for next update. I'm gonna try to finish this one. It may be a stretch, but yeah, I may try to do that. And then as well, I want to get some more use out of this one. I don't think I will finish it because this is not a color that I reach for enough that I will use this much up in one month. But I hope to finish about half of that so I can finish up before the finale. But I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And also if you're new here, please consider subscribing, I would love to have you in the family. And otherwise, I hope you're having the best of days and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye guys!